So when I found out that I was gonna be teaching portrait of a graduate attributes to my students, I was a little bit nervous at first, but my initial reaction was to check eCart because I know the county provides some excellent resources. And sure enough, there were teacher created rubrics, there were lessons, and there were student self-assessments that we could use to kind of guide us through this process. So I collaborated with a couple other teachers to see what their experience was with teaching goal-directed and resiliency in their classrooms. From there, we're able to co-plan um, and develop a grade-level wide way that we're gonna reinforce these skills in our kids. All right, boys and girls, I want one word that you think of when you hear Goal directed. And I had them plan as a table team um, the first word that came to mind when they heard the terms. And I had them write it on a sticky note and just come up and plop it on the smart notebook. All right, let's take a look at what we've got here. For goal directed, I see achieve, making goals to finish, keep going. Before we move on, I want to review a book that we've read previously called Stuck. Raise your hand if you remember this book, Stuck. This is one of my favorites. It all began when Floyd's kite became stuck in a tree. So after reading the book Stuck, I had the kids as a table team create a Google Draw that was gonna be a poster of what their word associations were with goal-directed and resilient. Who said goal-directed? I'm gonna get rid of it. When the kids are working in Google Draw, multiple students are able to work on the same project at one time. So they're able to collaborate and see what other thoughts are as they're kind of guiding their own thoughts. So it's really nice to walk around the classroom and hear what they're thinking and hear them discussing it in a meaningful way. When you make a choice and stick with it and don't forget about about it. Excellent. On Friday, I'll be sending home the Google Draws that each student created um, in their Friday folder so that their parents can see that we're really trying to build these skills not only at school, but also at home.